Okay, what we've done here is taken a disc that you sled on, put a couple plates on it to give it a little bit, make it more, a little bit more concave at the bottom where the bay blades can fight. And then we're going to put clay around this, and we'll put clay and make a few little bumps and some little run trays right here, and then we'll fiberglass the top of it. Two, three. We put the clay on, now we're putting the wax on. Maybe a little bit more enthusiasm with that, huh? And then after that, we'll put the fiberglass on. Yep. Right. And the wax will keep the fiberglass from sticking. And the center, this part here is going to be the fighting area. Now all the little ripples down here will be the ways they have to go over to get to it. Okay, we got the resin and or gel coat put on. What we did, we took fiberglass resin and mixed it with Bondo and poured it on there. And I had a couple spots that weren't quite covered, so I poured a little bit more on there. And you mix hardener with the fiberglass and hardener with the Bondo, then mix them both together. And it makes a nice thick gel coat. And now we're getting ready to put the mat, fiberglass mat on. Okay, I got half of the mat on here, fiberglass mat, and I got to do the other half. My first thing, resin had little bumps in it, so I had to put two coats on it, then I had to go back and get some new resin, because it was old. So I take my mat and cut it in about uh, five by eight pieces, and then I'll lay it over here, and I'll lay one piece of mat down, well, first I resin this, then I lay one piece of mat on, fiberglass it, and put the other one, overlap it, overlap it, overlap it, overlap it, overlap it, all the way down, and then put them all on real quickly. Okay, we got it trimmed, cleaned it all out with acetone and sandpaper. See all my little humps in it? And they all kind of spiraled down towards the center. And then <coughs> I laid it over here. I cut this out. And this will be, the, the bowl will sit in here. Okay, here we are. Got it all set up. Drew a little ring around where I'm going to cut it. You could have used the whole thing if you wanted to. But I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because I'm going to have it inside a wooden thing. So. There you go, see there's our little bumps and rips and other little bumps and so we'll get it all cleaned out and she'll be good. So I'm now making a frame for it, as you can see. I sprayed it with fluorescent green paint, it's just because that's all I had. I wanted gold, but then I would have had to make another trip. And these would be pockets for the bay blades four of them, one on each corner, and in the pockets will be black velvet, and around the edges will be wood polished.